This week on The American Athlete. I'm AJ Mercenary McKee, and you're watching The American Athlete. Hi, my name is AJ Mercenary McKee. Um, I'm a professional fighter. I fight for Bellator MMA, and we are at my gym in Lakewood, California. My gym is its a one-of-a-kind gym. Most coaches have contracts on their guys. Our door is always open. You can come in, walk in, and in our gym and leave as you will. So it, it's really like a home here, you know? Our support system just as a unit is very different. You know, it, we're more like brothers than teammates, you know? if, if I need something at three o'clock in the morning, I can call my buddy and he's gonna be like, where are you at? You know, they're, they're gonna be there for me. And I feel that's the difference between us and a lot of other gyms. Sports is just life for an athlete, you know? So I always wanted something to do. I was always in the gym, in my dad's gym, just bouncing around, punching the bags. My dad was a fighter, so growing up and watching him just really inspired me, you know? I'm, I've seen any and every great fighter that you could think of, from Randy Couture, Chuck Liddell, Rampage, anybody you could possibly think of, I've seen come into my father's gym and, and put in the work. Everyone knows when you want that real, true work, come to Antonio McKee at Body Shop. So I, I just, I've been seeing it my whole life and just dedicating my life to it was, was making that big step. Prep for a fight is stay ready and you don't have to get ready. That's kind of our gym saying. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So by the time that you actually should be getting ready, you're already ready. Anything past that is nothing but growth and, and just evolving, you know, getting better, perfecting your craft. I don't know, man, in, in our gym, we just got so many good guys and so many killers. It, it doesn't matter if you're tired or even if you're trying to slack, you're gonna have someone at your throat the whole time. <laughs> You got guys like Joey Davis, four-time national champion, 133-0. Uh, uh, Aaron Pico, Golden Glove champion, Olympic level wrestler. You got YL, who's a 135-pounder with a longer reach than me. That, like, that's just unheard of. We just got such a wide select of, of guys who are all hungry, who have all been through the trenches, and now they're here to get it. AJ knows just how lucky he is to have all this support, and it's been essential to him evolving in a sport that literally beats you down. One of my tattoos I just got, it's uh, without pain you wouldn't know joy. So for me, you know, that pain, you have to take it and you have to use it as motivation, you know? Today, we were grappling. I, I got a little baby cut. We're grappling, how did I get cut? You know, we're not throwing elbows, we're not throwing punches. It's, it's just part of the sport, it's part of the lifestyle. You know, you have to learn to endure it and, and, and just use it as motivation to keep you driving forward because anything that, that can't hurt you can only make you stronger and what really hurts at the end of the day. As long as you're still breathing, you're still living. Keep going, you know? My style is everything. I got jiu-jitsu, I got wrestling, I got capoeira, I got kickboxing. I love it all, but at the same time, I love to stand up. I'm trying to knock your head off. That's what we're talking about. I don't mind being on my back, so I don't really fear a takedown. So I'm, I, I just go out there and I try to put on a show and let my hands and feet go as much as possible. Most exciting part, it's gotta be when you knock someone's head off their shoulders, you know? I get to hit that backflip finish, whether I choke you out or knock you out. It's a great feeling, you know? It's all your hard work, everything you put in, all that time is for that one punch, that one kick, that moment of glory, I would say. There's nothing to compare it to it. You got the adrenaline, but at the same time, you got the win, the glory. And, and being undefeated, that's, for me, that's just the greatest feeling, you know? Pressure can cause the fiercest competitors to crack, and that's why AJ focuses on maintaining his cool, even having some fun out there in the cage. I expect a lot from myself. I know when it's time to fight, I'm, I'm coming to fight. I signed that contract to fight, I don't care if my hand's broke, I'm, I'm coming to fight. That's just, that's part of me, you know, it's who I am. I don't know, I don't, I don't really feel, I feel the pressure. Maybe once I get in that championship fight, I'll feel some pressure, because that's, that's one of my big goals, is, is fighting for that title and getting my first belt and staying undefeated. 
I just think about my family, you know? At the end of the day, this is who I'm doing it for, you know? For my family, my friends, and just to keep everyone motivated. Keep, keep them motivated, keep my teammates motivated, and if you look out for them, you know? If you're the best in the room, no one's gonna get you better unless they're getting better. So I'm, I'm continuing, continuously just trying to throw stuff at them like, hey, I try this, try this, try this. And I'm, I'm starting to see it, you know? They're starting to get slick. They're starting to catch me with little stuff. And I'm like, oh, like, hey, I remember that. Like, didn't I show you that? So they're, they're learning, but man, the pressure, you know, I don't, I don't feel the pressure. I just, I trust in my team and my camp and my coach that every, everything they instill in me is, is set, you know? And I'm, I'm ready and I'm capable of doing things that people can't even fathom. I don't even think I can fathom what I'm capable of yet. And we're, we're gonna keep doing it. All this and more coming up on The American Athlete.